Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Let's jump into how you can condense the logarithms using the law of logarithms. So basically what we want to do is take a logarithmic ex expression with lots of logs and condense it down until we have a single log. So we'll use all of our laws to help us do this. Okay? As we apply these laws, you want to look for addition, subtraction, and any constants that are multiplied in front of logs. So in the first pass, I notice inside these brackets here, we are adding two logarithms. Well, according to my laws, if we have two logarithms that are being added together, they can combine into a single logarithm such that the insides of each of those logs are now being multiplied together. Let's see, the original insides were an x minus 5 and an x plus 2. There they are. They're now inside of a single log. Now let's go ahead and scan through. Well, it looks like I have a 2 being multiplied in front of this log. All right, when we have a constant multiplied out front, we are going to change that into an exponent. And we want to put it on the inside. There we go. All the inside is now to the second power. All right, one step to go. I have a log minus another log. When these combine, it changes it into basically division, where the first log, that will end up on the top, and everything that's in the second log over here ends up on the bottom. There we go. So now we've used our laws to change this entire expression into a single log. That's the key. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.